Procrastination. Are you a procrastinator? I don't know. I have my notes here and all that stuff. I mean, I wish down with problems, but I just, I don't know. I, should, should I actually forget it? I forgot. I was supposed to ask the teacher for more, but, or do I get help from the, the, um, the tutor? Uh, um. Ah! First thing you want to do is create a checklist. Second thing you want to do is get rid of the hard stuff and always remember to eat your frogs. Third thing you want to do is give yourself a rest and pat yourself on the back because you earned it. The second thing you want to do is commit yourself to a routine every day. Writing in your, what are you going to do every day? Yeah. Hula practice Monday, class Tuesday, and I have to do my math. You can also challenge yourself with the hard things to do first. Remember to get plenty of sleep and also reward yourself when you're done with what you're doing. In other words, you should just be in a quiet space and do your work with no distractions. Woo! Okay. I think I could, but still, this music's really good. Huh. Wait. One minute. Was I supposed to be doing something? Huh. Practicing and repeating is very important and it's more important if you don't do it all at once, if you take breaks and if you do it in more than one day. Your brain could only hold four things at once um, and it's like a blackboard that you give it information but when, when you feed it too much information it will erase quickly. Um, try to tap into your um, memory, your visual memory. It's really important and it's a good way to remember things. Just visualize it or even draw a picture. It, it'll help you a lot. The fourth key is very important to visualize what you're trying to remember. It's good to group things together into a scene that's familiar to you. last thing you want to do is the checklist. Okay, so here are the list of things that you need. Did you make a serious effort to understand the text? Just hunting for relevant worked out examples does not count. Mm -mm. Did you work with classmates on homework problems or at least check your solutions with others? So you want to make sure that you at least check, check your solutions and also at least check your problems. Did you attempt to outline every homework problem solutions before working with classmates? So, you want to make sure that you at least um, check with a classmate. For, for example, I have a classmate right here that actually will want to come in. She's right here and pretty much she would actually, I want to ask her this. Hey Esmeralda, can you come in? Sure. Okay, so pretty much, did we actually check on our homework? Yes, we did. Okay, awesome. So, did you participate in actively homework group discussions or giving ideas and asking questions? And the answer is yes, I did. And pretty much I'll have to say, we actually did work in a group, didn't we? And since we're working in a group, we're actually going to actually get the answers and we're actually going to remember this all in our heads. Did you consult with an instructor or teaching assistant when you were having trouble with something? So, if you want to at least remember something, ask your teacher. Don't be afraid to ask. It's actually a good thing to ask, because if you don't ask, you won't know. And also, ask your local tutor, or anybody else that actually knows actually how to do the work. Did you understand all the homework problem solutions when they were handed in? So pretty much, if you, if you don't understand, try to at least um, ask the teacher again. So that way, once she hands you the, the thing, you'll know. Did you ask in class for an explanation for the homework problem solutions that weren't clear to you? So, if you don't know anything, or if you don't say anything, try to at least ask. Like I said, asking won't hurt, won't it? No, it won't. Okay, so if you had a study guide, did you carefully go through it before the test and convince yourself you could do everything on it? 
So, since you've been studying all, all day, and I wouldn't say all day, I would have to say on a certain time that you can actually do your work. Did you understand every single thing on the test? If not, try and go back, so that way you can understand everything. Did you attempt to outline all the problems and solutions quickly without spending time on algebra and calculations? So, the one thing I want to say is that you want to at least spend time and don't like focus on, on the other things. Focus on what you know. And if you don't know the things, try to at least take a break. Did you go over the study guide with the problems with the classmate on the quiz? Um, I would have to say, if you guys um, don't know anything about it, try to at least um, go over with the classmate. Hey, it's all that. Yes. Um, we're going to go over this uh, uh, math and uh, also in algebra, right? Yes, we are. Especially with fraction, huh? Yes. Okay. If there was a review of session before the test, did you attend and ask questions about anything that you weren't sure about? So pretty much, if you don't understand anything, especially when it comes to review, um, a teacher will always help you, especially in the, in the time of need, whether it has to be around their um, office hours or the tutors. So go, go to your local tutor on, on the certain days that they're available. And lastly, did you get a responsible night's sleep before the test? If your answer is no, your answer, your answer is all predicting the questions does not matter. So, the one thing I have to say is always get a good night's sleep because you would not have to actually um, clear the toxins from your brain and make sure that you can actually um, memorize all this. And also, remember, sleep is important and also, and also procrastination. Don't always procrastinate. Isn't that right, Esmeralda? Yes, that is correct. Where procrastination does not live in your head. Try to least and learn. And always remember, memory is a good thing. So you want to at least remember things. So enjoy, and don't forget to study on, sleep nice, and less procrastination.